A good pas de deux, I think, is when you can follow what's happening in it. You see the story of those two characters from first meeting to where they end up. That's the brilliant thing about how well crafted they are, not just physically, but dramatically. This is ballet, it's so special, it's so close. You're with your partner, you know, you're feeling you breathe together to say same moment. I don't know, there's something about like when it's between you, this way, you take it away and there's just two, or whether you, you, you're on your way. It didn't look important enough. Yeah, 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 that's nice. Let's do that again. Mary and Rudolf have really sexual close pas de deux in second act. But to say moment that steps so hard, you need absolutely control what you do. What's difficult with Mary's pas de deux is because you have to have that emotion, you have to project it. But still, you have to be safe, be really precise with what we do. It's that discipline. You can't let the feelings pull and lead what we do. Because it is such an extreme pas de deux, anything could go wrong. It's uh, so many crazy lifts, uh, so many change of arms, so many emotional to say moment. But you need control and everything do it completely together. That is hard, work together, play together, breathe together. The biggest challenge about them is to just not throw it all away. There are grips that have to be really specific in order to make it look like you've just come up with it. They come with a lot of force because they're, you know, that's what the story is doing at that point. It's hard for her because she sort of crawls all over him. It's not just she waits to be lifted the whole time. Yeah, the slides and under and everything was great. I just thought um, once you've done the jeté switch, I think if you go ooh, in one piece, it looks a bit. I come out of it. I think maybe you should... Working with Natalia is very exciting. She's so spontaneous. And sometimes we can have completely different feelings. And that's what makes it so exciting. It's really important to uh, feel comfortable with your partner. With him, I feel absolutely natural. We have energy together. He's a fantastic dancer. He's a really beautiful, attractive man. It's such a big, expressive dance, you know? It's not just an acting role. It's, it's hugely physical. Um, it's hugely emotional. I think you need everything you've been working towards your whole kind of training and life at your fingertips at any moment. Edward Watson is like fantastic. He's to be my first Rudolf, I'm so lucky. He knows this ballet just like amazing. He understands this role, he knows this pas de deux, and he gives us a lot of amazing detail, you know? I think the fouette needs a bit more of a, a, a snap on it. Ch -ch yeah, it's not enough front. Go. Put more energy to the front. Yes! You know, getting yeah, yeah. idea from Ed, advice from Ed, it's, it's the most amazing thing that I can get in the rehearsal. He probably sees Rudolf a little bit different way as how I see as well. And that kind of communication, that exchange of the idea is always a plus. We want to do something different, you know, something, you know, we want to make it our character, our story. This is a role, we need this finish, you like shaking because it's like emotional, like, 100%, you know, this is a duet, you cry, you feel this is dark, he's pain. It's really, you want to just like after show, like uh, <laughs> hug and say, oh my God, we have like something special now. When I'm on stage, I'm completely Crown Prince Rudolf. I'm in that story. I'm him, Rudolf. It's hard, but I love it. This is all the male dancers' dream.